Hi mathematicians, this is Mr. Almeida. I hope you're doing well. In this video, we are going to be solving division word problems, dealing with the measurement part uh, interpretation of division. So I ask you to recall this image that we talked about earlier. When we talk about measurement division, you're thinking about a ruler and you're trying to see how many copies of that size piece are in a particular um, length or number. So in this case, we're talking about this is the unit or the, this is the known number, and you're counting how many copies of this same size, whatever that, um, whatever that number might be, are in this number, okay? So in measurement division, 20 divided by 4 means how many copies of 4 are in the number 20? And the obvious answer to that is 5. Um, so you can almost think of measurement division as you're counting by this um, without trying to pass your, your dividend. Okay. So measurement division one final time is asking how many copies of some number are in this number. Uh, we're dealing with word, word problems, so let's read the word problem together and we'll underline what the question is asking us. Tony and his friends are making hot cocoa. Tony has one and one half cups of cocoa powder left in his pantry. Each serving of hot cocoa requires one eighth of a cup. How many servings does Tony have left? Okay, so the question that we're being asked is how many servings does Tony have left? So we'll underline that. And we'll write an answer statement to uh, answer that question with a blank for what the answer will be. So how many servings does Tony have left? Tony has blank servings left. All right, now that we have that down, um, and we've read the problem to figure out what unit is involved here. We're dealing with servings and cups, but it seems like our numbers are given to us in cups. So we'll, let's write cups right here. All right, so let's read each sentence. Tony has his friends, Tony and his friends are making hot cocoa. Um, there's nothing important in that sentence, so I'll move on. Tony has one and one half cups of cocoa powder left in his pantry. All right, stop. The important information here is that Tony has one and one half cups of cocoa powder left. Um, so let's model that number one and one half cups. So that would mean that we're breaking each unit into two equal parts. So I've already done that. And then we're going to go to one and one half, which is the concatenation or putting from end to end a length of one with a length of one half. So it's right there. And that is one and one half and that's what Tony has. Okay. Now it says each, so I've modeled that, put a check mark at the end. Each serving of hot cocoa requires uh, one eighth of a cup. Stop. What's important here is each serving. Remember each serving is how many servings? One serving. And each serving is going to require one and one eighth of a cup. So each serving, every one serving, is going to be one and one eighth of a cup. When I look at my number line, I notice that I don't have the sequence of eighths. I have the sequence of halves. So what do I have to do to each of the two smaller parts to make, a, um, to make eight parts? I have to break each of them into four smaller parts. So I'll do that. Four is an even number, so I'll go right down the middle, to the left, to the right, right down the middle, to the left, to the right, right down the middle, to the left, to the right, and right down the middle, to the left, to the right. Okay, now I have the sequence of eighths, and now I'm going to show how many one-eighths are in this number. So that right there is one-eighth, so that's one serving. I'm going to make another copy of one-eighth and another copy of one eighth, and another, 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 and as DJ Khaled would say, and another one, okay? So we have how many servings are in one and one eight, one and one half, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 servings. So how many servings were there? 12. So we put our answer in the blank. Tony has 12 servings left. Okay. Now, 
you don't want to always have to draw a number line. So it's helpful to just know um, that whatever you're trying to find how many of, that's your divisor, because that's what's going to multiply the other number to give you the other number. Um, so we ask how many servings? Well, each serving is worth one eighth of a cup. So we're dividing by one eighth. And then what number is being divided by one eighth? One and one half. So let's write that. One and one half divided by one eighth. That is division. Um, when we're dividing mixed numbers, we always want to write them as fractions. So what is one and one half as a fraction? Three halves divided by one eighth. What does it mean to divide by a number? It means to multiply by that number's reciprocal. So we'll rewrite this expression as three halves times eight wholes, or written eight over one. When we're multiplying fractions, what do we use? We use the product formula, great. So we're going to do that and we get three times eight all over two times one. Um, can we simplify the numerator and the denominator by a number besides one? With three and two, no. With three and one, one is already done, so we can move on. What about eight and two? Can I divide numerator and denominator by the same number besides one? Yes, two. Eight divided by two is four. Two divided by two is one. And we get three times four all over one times one, and three times four is 12, and one times one is one. What is 12 wholes, or 12 divided by 1? 12. So we knew that we were going to get 12, but just to reiterate, the measurement division is an interpretation that we arrive at because um, it really, division is really about finding a missing factor. And when you're dealing with multiplication, you're going to have some number of copies times some number of some size. And so today, we already know the size of that number that we have. We're going to find out how many copies of that number are in um, the number that we are trying to divide, which is call our div called our dividend. With that, I hope that you um, learned about measurement division and can understand and identify them when you're reading word problems. I wish you all the best mathematicians. Have a good one.